Hello everyone and welcome to Every Song Reviews. Uh, basically just quick introduction uh, to the five track EP uh, from Sullivan, LaCue, also Fortune. Uh, basically uh, before I jump in I just want to say some background information for the EP so I get uh, give a feel of what I've heard already. I've already listened to this project maybe once or twice But now I'm gonna really sit down listen uh, pay attention to the lyrics uh, the more in-depth listen listen and uh, Give some thoughts back on it, and then hopefully we will review this thing on the main channel uh, These are all gonna be audio only uh, Just to you know hopefully get it out a little bit sooner um but yeah, uh, with that being said, um, if you aren't familiar with uh, Sullivan, he, I have a review for his mixtape Searching Sullivan, that was back when he was known as Quest, that's on my main channel, you can check that out to kind of get my opinion of this artist as far as Fortune goes. Um, I checked him out, um, seems like a pretty good artist, um, but that's as far as I go with him, so um, yeah, just that that's to give you uh, an idea of where I'm coming from with um, this EP. Uh, with that being said, let's just jump into some track reviews and uh, thank you for watching. As always, uh, with that, let's just get into it. Alright, we have track one. Uh, Sullivan, he, he's back you guys. It's kind of, it's kind of a great thing. Um, so yeah, we are on track one. Track one is titled Drop Your Plans, Sullivan LeCue, Fortune, featuring Venus Amore. And I have checked out Venus Amore. I was streaming her music earlier today. A very lovely voice. I, I really liked the, what I saw from her, uh, what she does in this track. Uh, it's a very sweet melody playing. Uh, I like what she does, um, and Sullivan, um, as far as what he does, this, you know, I don't want to call this his side project, because I know, like, he has his big album, or mixtape, I, I'm, I believe it's an album coming out, uh, this year, um, and, you know, that's going to be his big project, so I don't want to call this a side project, but I can, like, see it being a side project, if that makes sense. But he's still taking his time, actually going back and forth with this girl, building a bridge. He's not just like throwing a verse and like this girl, uh, and he just got this Venus girl. Uh, like, no, they're, I can feel they're actually, you know, um, going back and forth. Um, so I can, I feel like this song is actually care is being put into it. Um, uh, Fortune, he also, uh, the, he produced this track. It, actually, there's confusion about, um, some people are just putting this out as Sullivan's project, but, um, from the more credible sources, it's Sullivan, LeCue, uh, and Fortune. So that's what I'm going to refer to it as. Um, but if my sources are wrong, which I very much doubt they are, uh, I am sorry. But, um, uh, Fortune, uh, he produced the track, very, you know, kind of simplistic beat, with, I'm hearing just some drums and pianos and just some of your usual stuff, um, it completely works, uh, no complaints there, um, going back to Venus and Sullivan, they're really going back, the concept, I believe, of the song is kind of balancing um, time and money between this guy and this girl um, and you know there are some uh, you can take it for what it is um, Sullivan I noticed he's actually referencing other tracks in this EP so I really like he's not just putting he's not just putting out a, a song and that's something I always appreciate from him he takes his time and really creates um, projects, um, not just, oh, I'll fucking make an EP, why not, he sat down and really thought, okay, I'm gonna make a track, I'm gonna make another track, and it's gonna be a step-by-step -step process, 
So I very much appreciate that. And everyone else, uh, I, 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 I enjoy the singer, uh, Venus Moore. I'm definitely going to check out more of her stuff. She did a great job. I, this was a strong opening for uh, this um, EP. I'm going to give Drop Your Plans an 8 out of 11. I very much enjoyed it. Um, and this is just beginning, guys. Um, we got four more tracks to go. Uh, yeah, I'm very excited. Uh, with that, on to track two. All right, this is track two. The track is titled First Flight to Oakland. Um, basically what it's about. It's kind of just um, Sullivan rapping about um, girl problems, really. Or I, I assume based on the subject matter of like every track on the EP and the fact that in the cover art it's basically him and this girl that the EP is about uh, said girl because basically... <laughs> Every track so far that I've looked at the lyrics are about a girl. So, I'm going to assume that's what he was going for. Um, and yeah, ba basically, um, the idea of the track is kind of just this up and down thing with this girl. And But as far as like sound and what he's doing, um... This one, the instrumental sounds more like um, something he would do back in the day. Not that this uh, style is way different, but it's a little more, um, I don't want to say pop friendly, but um, in that lane, def definitely. Um, and but not like too like it's not like way like something he I couldn't ever see him doing. Um, Solvin, I mean, but in this track, um, the beat, there, there isn't really a hook, uh, on this one. I know, uh, in the last track I was mentioning how he really is constructing this project, and I, I believe that, but if there was a throwaway track on the CP, this one would probably be it, and it's probably my least favorite, uh, I do you think I might have to go through the other three that are left before I actually give that judgment though. That being said, I think that's it. I don't have a lot to say about this track. It's not, um, it's, it, I mean, it's a good track. There's nothing wrong with it, but it's, you know, just a safe, him, you know, it's very simplistic, is what I'm trying to say. I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Um, very, very good, very, you know, simplistic track. Very good job. Uh, with that, on to the next one. Alright, uh, track 3. Uh, this track definitely probably has the best, um, title out of all of the other ones. Uh, FaceTime and Chill. Um, Netflix and Chill is probably the greatest terminology that the internet has ever blessed us. Um, and this is paying homage to that, so that's pretty. That's pretty cool. Um, where where did it begin? Uh, first off, I again another track about a girl, and I I believe or uh, I believe the EP is named after the girl. And if you've noticed, I've been avoiding pronouncing the EP name and the girl's name because well, um. I have a history of pronouncing things terribly on this channel, so I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. Uh, uh, let's just call her Eva, because the first three letters are Eva. Um, uh, I, I, I feel wrong even doing that. Let's talk about this track, though. This track, um, basically another kind of him going back and forth between this girl. Um, the girl is now like... She's sending messages on a phone, and messages, like, uh, on a phone is, that's like uh, a trope at this point in hip-hop music, and I get it. Music is an audio-only means, and uh, voice messages are, like, a great way to say, like, exposition and shit like that. I remember on Searching Sullivan, uh, Sullivan did some where he, you know... He had a voice message that like really hit me and it was about, um, you know, I, one of his family members calling and, you know, I believe it was his brother and it mentioned how 
Um, his dad got arrested, and I don't know, there's another one that was when he got signed, and that was a big part to the story on that mixtape. Um, so I'm not knock knocking the voice message thing at all, but it is a trope, and it doesn't necessarily sound good hearing, like, an automated message to go along with this, like, otherwise pretty nice melody. Um, but I, and it's just the fact that I've, I feel like I've heard, like, dozens of, like, these girls, like, leaving messages to their, um, male rapper counterparts in this kind of monotone voice. Um, other than that, though, the track, it's, you know, pretty good. I remember, um, you know, because Quest is singing on this, and at the beginning he opens up with, uh, this is the only... Uh, time I can get away with some Drake shit. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I think that goes for this track and maybe the rest of the EP. Um, and that, like just him saying that uh, gives an idea of what he's doing here. And yeah, I think this is another really good one. Um, I think he has the vocals and the vocal editing skills to sing, and he does a good job of it. Um, I have no problems with him singing. Uh, he did some, he did a little bit of singing on, on his last project, so no complaints here with this track, really. Um, I'm thinking I'll give this one, uh, I'll give, uh, FaceTime and Chill, which, lovely, lovely name. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. It's a good track. And I think I'll leave that one at that. I'll see you guys for the next one. Thank you for listening. Alright, Caravan 04. I fucks with this instrumental. Um, on top of that, um, conceptually wise, it's more of kind of the same with this girl. Eva, the rest of her name. I'm sorry, I don't know what it is. I, I get fucked up when I see that many vowels. I really do. Um... The idea of this track um, is again with this girl, long distance relationship. If you couldn't tell by the title FaceTime and Chill, it's a long distance relationship going on here. And it's this, uh, there are some lines where uh, Quest, or Sullivan as he's now called, um, he's like uh, getting down on himself a little bit. Um, and, you know, it's he's, he's kind of just narrating his thoughts uh throughout uh little moments in the relationship and uh yeah this i want to talk about the song's sound because the sound there's a lot of like uh it's a lot more electronic and synthy and distorted and uh stuff like that and um uh sullivan uh he's not a stranger to that and i i feel like we'll be seeing stuff like that on uh far from familiar uh based upon you know just what he's released from that so far um and there's a featured artist on this one um Lindsay jai is that i don't know how to, I, again names i fucking suck at pronouncing them but um i i usually before i do the in-depth reviews i like to look at all the artists and check them out I didn't get to do that this time because I downloaded this from Hot New Hip Hop, um, and sometimes they are bad with misinformation and who the featured artists are, and that happened here again. It also happened with Searching Sullivan, uh, another sh uh, shout out to that mixtape. I'm sorry, I fucking love that mixtape, but uh, um... Yeah, um, so unfortunately I know nothing about this guy, or, yeah, it's this guy. Um, but, you know, he killed it, did a pretty good job, go him, uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna cut this one, um, it's a very good song, uh, Zara is beginning to yawn there for a second. Yep, that was a full yawn. It is 5.56 a.m. where I'm at right now, and I'm probably not going to get some sleep, so if I'm tired due to the last track, 
Uh, that's probably why. Um, but, um, I think I'll cut it at that. I'll give Caravan 04. Take it back to 04. Um, I'll give this one a 7 out of 10. Another just, all these tracks, I think, are just, you know, good tracks. Uh, nothing like super great, amazing, but, you know, each of them... Uh, really do something and um, we got uh, one track left the outro and uh, I guess I will see you then uh, on to that track all right we have our final track we have destiny's child outro and um, outros and intros always make um, a good way to get you know the concept of your album down and a lot of time People only really listen to singles, so the intro and outros, you know, sometimes it can be like the way to, you know, culminate your album into this, um, more than kind of what you've been doing on your singles, you know, it makes it feel like this whole thing, and, um, uh, this, I think this, this, this is a good way, you know, to, uh, sign off, basically we got, um, Sullivan and uh, he has his girl and she's basically um, there's you know piano playing um, and uh, we just hear her for you know the majority of this track this this track is mostly just you know talking with you know some nice sound effects uh, in all honesty we have her and she's kind of like um, basically talking about Sullivan's next project that being far from familiar uh, which you know that's that's kind of like what this this is like she's like the this is the calm before the storm uh so if that does if that doesn't you know where i was coming from saying this was a side project um so and she basically ends it with this like really nice line she's like if you had one word described far from familiar what would it be um and he says Destiny, and I, 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 I got, I got, I, I, I got goosebumps. I'm not even gonna lie. It was, um, it, it was. Uh, I, I like that type of stuff. Um, yeah, I, I like the fact that you know, at the end of this tape, he's with the girl, and you know, I, I'm, I'm their relationship. I'm, I'm still like, uh, you know, it was this. It was a cool, it was a good EP, uh, now that I've looked at each track, and I enjoyed the, the, uh, filling in the cracks. That being said, um, what about this track? Um, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna give this track the, like, least score, um, but that being said, you know, um, and I always gotta put my least favorite, uh, track on uh the where you know for each review i put my favorite and least favorite track and i have to you know put this as the least favorite because it counts as a track even though it's mostly just a person talking over some sound effects and a light piano playing and you know that might you know that's not always fair but it's like um this and i don't uh review skits but that's what basically this was, but they didn't make it a skit, so I gotta treat it as a track. And as a track, you know, it's okay. It's, um, I'll give it a 2 out of 5. But again, the scores don't really fucking matter, uh, in the first, uh, in the first place, let alone to compare what's basically a skit to a normal song. Just don't pay attention to skits. Uh, don't take the scores too seriously, is what I always say. That being said, um, thank you guys for listening. I enjoyed this EP. I will hopefully and will try my best to review and listen to Far From Familiar when it drops. She even said in the song, uh, how much longer, and at the very... Uh, at the very latest, I think it'll be six months, but I think it'll be, you know, much sooner than then. Uh, and I will hopefully review that. And But until then, as always, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening, since this is an audio thing. Um, thank you for listening. 
Um, I so much appreciate that, and um, I'll have my official, official review for this EP out soon, uh, as I, soon as I can. Uh, with that, as always, um, yeah, have a wonderful day. Uh, with that, I leave you. <laughs>